Got a fairly quick and easy one for you guys today. We are going to be learning how to install an anti-spam plugin on your WordPress website. So we're going to go up to our dashboard here and once that page loads we can go on the left hand side to plugins and installed plugins. Now you see here that we have an anti-spam plugin already pre-packaged with our WordPress installation. We're not going to use this though because it is known to be very slow. In other words, it slows down the speed of your website. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that. But there's also this other plugin that's sitting around down here called Hello Dolly, one that also came with our WordPress installation. We wanna get rid of that one too. It really doesn't do anything. So check the box for each one of those. And under bulk actions, let's click on the delete button and apply those changes. Hit okay. And once that's done now, we can go ahead and add new and we're gonna search for something called anti-spam. Now this plugin is created by Web Vitality, so make sure installing the right one here in the upper right hand corner, it's just called anti-spam. Once that's finished, go ahead and click on activate. And then you'll see here that there are actually no settings. Where the settings exist for this are under the settings on the left hand side and under anti-spam. So here you can see there's not too many configuration options. The only one is to save spam comments into the spam section, which we wanna do. And that allows us to see that plugin actually in action. So when you go over here to the comments section, you'll see this category called spam. And that is where all these spam comments that the plugin will automatically detect, put those comments. And that way, if you're gonna go through and see what kind of spam comments you're getting in, and to actually see the plugin in action. So that's pretty cool. And obviously there have been no spam comments blocked by the plugin yet. But I'm sure if you come back in some time, you'll see that populate with some numbers. That's it for this one. If you guys have any questions, as always, let me know in the comments below. I will see you in the next one, which we will be talking about Google Search Console. We'll take a turn to the left and we'll see what that's all about. See you then.